South Africa Adventure. Episode, Hunting for Cape Buffalo and Plains Game. The hunt is on. After a long journey, we find ourselves in beautiful South Africa. To be more precise, we are hunting in the Fredefort Crater, which is recognized as a World Heritage Site. The hunting area covers about 40,000 acres, which is about 16,000 hectares. Game density is very high here, and our hunter expects a challenging but also eventful hunt. After the obligatory test shots, the hunt can finally begin. First, we try our luck on buffalo, and we can hardly wait to start stalking. We hunt with a specialized weapon with rear and front sights. We are guided by Joe and Zen. Joe, the older of the two, helped to establish this impressive area 30 years ago. But more about that later. The final preparations are made, and we are ready to go. And the stalking continues. After just less than an hour, we come across two buffalo. Now it is once again up to our hunter to take his chance. The tension is rising. With two perfect shots, our hunter succeeds in killing the strong bull. A good start. Before we get to the buffalo, Joe quickly explains to us how best to stalk what we think uh, is a kill. Everybody's got their own way, but uh, I, I've killed hundreds. The best is, even if he lies like this, I walk behind it. So if he moves, I shoot him on the spine. So you make sure. But sometimes people walk this way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Big problem. Yeah. no time and stalk on. What will we see next? Zen has spotted a suitable kudu bull. Now we have to move quickly. With a superb shot, our hunter manages to bring down the kudu. Good hunting. After a short photo session, we encounter a magnificent sable antelope following another game drive. Will our hunter manage to get a clean shot? Another great shot from our hunter. Good hunting. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
As dusk approaches, our hunter spots a group of zebras. He immediately spots the stallion in the herd. It's a zebra. Is it? Don't move, don't move. Yes. Yes, perfect. I got him. The only thing that can make hunting here a little tricky is the often very bushy landscape. During our stalk, we meet an ostrich that doesn't seem to mind our presence. We have positioned ourselves at a promising spot. Our hunter is ready. Soon, it will be one shot after another. The tension is immense as a strong oryx bull enters the stage. And as usual, it all has to happen quickly. And once again, our hunter manages to score a winner but that should not be it here yet. Same place as the hip spot. Only moments later, Joe has spotted a rowan on almost the same spot. Will our hunter manage to shoot a double? Hunter does not miss this opportunity either. Good hunting. In breathtaking scenery, we take our photos before finally continuing our stalk. Joe started a conservation project here 30 years ago. Today, his sons support him. Thanks to their efforts, many different species of game are resident here, and their populations are secure, such as the white-tailed gnu, which is also known as the black wildebeest. The Fredefort crater is also home to the blue wildebeest. We try to track both and hope for good luck. However, before we encounter one, a blessbok crosses our path. Zen takes a quick look through the binoculars to determine whether it is a suitable target. Josef from Westfalia Jagdreisen, who once again organized this hunt perfectly, confirms it for Zen. After only a short escape, we find the blessbok behind the tree. We were able to spot a strong water buck from the hill and managed to get within a good distance. Now we have to keep calm. We are entering an area that is promising for wildebeests. According to the tracks, there are some wildebeests in our immediate vicinity. Our hunter makes the final preparations. A blue wildebeest suddenly crosses our path And again, our hunter hits the bullseye. 
Good hunting. Once again, it's hit after hit. Suddenly, we spot the group. There is also a suitable white-tailed gnu among them. Will our hunter be able to take advantage of this opportunity? Excellent. And another perfect shot. We want to dedicate our last hunting day to the buffalo. This dangerous and aggressive game offers something unique. Of course, our hunter hunts only by front and rear sights once again. The hunt ends the same way it began, with a perfect hit on a magnificent buffalo. Our hunter deserves a hearty, good hunting. Thank you.